Yes, good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Mega Comrade, Officer Clemente Ranomigo Edegbe, live from Dallas, Texas, United States. Today's date is uh, July 12, 2022. I repeat, today's date is uh, July 12, 2022, at about 9.43 a.m. in the morning here in Dallas, Texas, United States. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, if today is the first day you are watching Mega Comrade live or after the broadcast, please like our page, follow our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do not hesitate to hit the notification bell button whenever we come on live. You'll be the first one to be notified. And in uh, addition to that, please do whatever it takes to invite your, your friends families to work with you to watch with you so that being said you all know what is going on right now in our lovely country nigeria you all know what is happening concerning the presidential race uh, right now it become a problem that uh, people are not complaining uh, about uh, muslim muslim including me it is a fact it is a fact that Nigeria is made up with uh, multi-religions and uh, multi-culture uh, and an uh, ethnic group. Uh, when one group felt that they are being abandoned, or uh, the group, if the group felt that if they felt that they are being abandoned or they are being neglected. Uh, that is when you see agitation. Well, however, uh, we thank God that uh, we have three political parties now, the three major political parties. Uh, we have three, a lot of people now have option. It's no longer like PDP, APC. PDP, APC, now they have labor. They have accord. Uh, and they have what that, but right now, major party uh, that uh, everyone is uh, uh, that is running after right now is a uh, Labour Party and APC. Uh, since PDP abandoned His Excellency Governor Yusuf Wiki, since they betrayed him, PDP have been slowly dying, dying, dying. It's on coma right now. I think they have transferred PDP. Uh, PDP party to to ICU. For those of you who are into a medical uh, field, you know what I'm talking about when I say ICU, intensive care unit, political intensive care unit. So nobody know where article is. They say it's in Dubai. Some say it, it, it's not even happy PDP and he's tired. Article Abu Bakr himself is tired. So. Uh, that being said, we are going to go straight to the point. I need you to share this video. I have a limited time. I got to go to work, as you all know. I work really hard for my money. So I will be at work in about a few minutes. So what you need to do now is to go ahead and share this video in order for us to make it snappy. The earlier you share, the better it is for you and me. We can be able to cover a lot of uh, a lot of things that we need to talk about today and that uh, our innocent Nigerians need to know. So that being said, let's go to the point. If you all saw this picture right here, you saw Peter Ubi, Bola Tunubu, Baba Asiwaju Bola Ame Tunubu, then the next person you're going to see there is a uh, Atiku Abubakar. That's the next person you're going to see there. Then you come under the under the picture. You're going to see the anonymous Senator Yusuf Baba Ahmed. You're going to see Senator Kasim. Shatima. Are you going to see 
the betrayer, betrayer, betrayer of the southern region, Governor Ifai Okowa. He's the one that sold the southern region for the Fulani Ma Atiku Abubaka. You're going to see then. Here is the question today. Where do we go from here? So I took my time. I took my time to, to know more about my party, our party, APC, to know more about our candidate. What I found, some are encouraging some are disturbing. However, as you all know, I'm a man of truth. Like I said, my number one priority is the innocent poor citizen and my dear lovely country, Nigeria. I am a man who believes that when things are going wrong, you say it the way it is. You don't need to sugarcoat it. You don't need to, to start deceiving people. You have to call it what it is. If it, if it ain't black and white, it ain't happen. But on this one, a couple of years ago, when Boko Haram started, a lot of people were, were worried how did this thing happen that they could not stop. An audio came out, leaked audio that year. When that audio came out, they sent it to me, I played. You know, in this life, whatever you do, my brother, you got to be careful. Loma, I see you, I acknowledge your presence. You got to be careful. Because no matter however you think you are powerful, one day, what you sow, you will reap it. May God let our enemy reap what they sow in Jesus' mighty name. I want everyone to tap amen. The way we are seeing the situation, like I am a neutral man here, right here. I am not supporting anybody as of today. Like I promise, if our Baba Ashwaju Bola Metunubu, if he post, if he pick mostly, mostly ticket, I told you as an APC front runner, front fighter, counter attack political fighter, I will pause, evaluate, know why, why he picked Muslim Muslim ticket. Thank God, a lot of story have been going out, but I am not satisfied with those story we are hearing. We want to hear it from uh, Baba Asiwaju Bola Metunubu campaign. You should give us the reason you should tell us the reason why Christians were neglected, why they segregated the Christian. They are watching. You think they are not watching us? Before I get on air, in about two, three minutes, I saw people were firing me from uh, right up. They were sending it to me. It's like they know. They already see, I've, I already set up my system. And they saw that I was about to get on air. They decided. Uh, good afternoon of Bazuan of Baseki social media supporter. <laughs> hey, so they send it to me. I am going to read that later on. But the audio that we should not forget, I want everyone, please. You see, now Iran Omigo is completely neutral. I am a man of my word. I put my mouth in where my money is. I do not do the talking, I not do the work. I talk the talk, I walk the walk. I am a talk now too. You know? So, whatever I say, I back it up. So, I am going to play this audio and I will open my phone line. I want people to tell me if this audio is true or if this audio is not true. Thank you so much, Loma. I am not owing any politician. I want all Nigerians to know today that me, Mega Comrade Clementine, I am not owing any politician. 
As a matter of fact, they are owing me. APC is owing me. PDP is owing me. A court party is owing me. Useless or more yellow AAC is owing me. That is the fact. Or more yellow Shoura useless party is owing me big time. It is my money. My money, my hard earned money, is among of the money that was used to bring AAC alive. Uh, Thomas James, you come and go straight to the point. You come and do the video. Hence, you know how to do it. You just come here. Your body, the pepper, you come down. Eh? Kulu, 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 temper. The temperature is too hot right now. So, uh, I see somebody say, if, uh, your phone don't go through to me. That means you might have poo, poo You might have shit in where you will follow. You know, the road you will follow two times. Don't shit on me. Maybe your phone is already been blocked because Caro, you know? nobody will use his money to buy phone and buy credit, buy subscription, and as allow people to be calling that phone and be insulting that person. You, I will block you. So maybe I have blocked you. So those are the consequences of your action. So you have to take responsibility of your action. Like I took the responsibility of my action. When I went to Nigeria, I know how I suffered when I was not allowed to visit my grandmother and others. I thank God Almighty, there's nothing that is impossible with God. So I am going to play the audio. I want, after this audio, I want everyone to call or dedicate this audio. Who is this person? We want to know the truth before we go further. And I'm going to tell you the age, what every presidential vice candidate have done in their life. I have went through their profile. I have read a lot about them for this within this uh, within this uh, 48 hours. You see, I did not come on air tomorrow because I wanted to read more, to know more about them. So let's go. Hello, you oh, thank you very much, Kule. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Honestly, I accept your congratulations, even though I'm <laughs> Because I remember one time when the fighting in Borno, when there are people who are being killed left and right. Then I said, Do you remember one time when our people were being killed in Borno State, left and right, by Chico, everyone in the north? Of course. I remember you were saying that was there any thousand among us? We were the one killing ourselves. I always remember this statement, Mr. Kule. But look at this today now. Today, our brother is in charge, and I'm sure mm -hmm. he made it clear to the world. The first yeah. thing he said was that he was moving the command of the Nigerian army to Maiduguri until when Boko Haram is over. Mm -hmm. So if not your brother as the president, who will do it for you? But we, we could have done it to anybody in Nigeria. But you can see that some people refuse to do it for us. So really, really, today I understand why we have to have the presidency, honestly. Uh, well, it's like that, Kule. Kule is like that. Because how can anybody convince us that some miscreants eh, cannot be dealt with by, with Nigeria, by Nigerian army? Why can we believe it was deliberately left? Even if there is no involvement of government in it, why can we believe that it was deliberate? Let them kill themselves. Well, it has come out even very clear. Because it was at a point in our campaign, they were saying that uh, by the killings of Boko Haram, there will be no population again. In fact, let me tell you why they not insisted that Jonathan has to go, because we had the plan that if Jonathan continues, the same problem will happen in Kano, the same problem will happen in Sokoto, the same problem will happen in Jonathan and everywhere until when our population is depleted. No, no, no. We have had a wonderful experience, honestly. In order to avoid the problem, that's what I said the so whether he has said or not, but the laws was it was clear what he now. See, what could he have done? Remember what Babangida did for us. Babangida, Babangida. You see, what happened was even when Babangida did it, you understand? Do you get me? The bulk of the population that voted was from the north, and Rini, Rini said it. Since Babangida was in Abuja, Governor Rini of Kano State, then former Governor of Kano State, he said, if the Sima in Abiola in Lagos. Abiola will, he, he, Babangida will have said, it is Yoruba that did it. So Abiola should fly to Kano, they will swear him as president, and they will stand their ground. Before we know, they rallied around Abiola, they said, don't go to not, if you go, they will kill you. Maybe so happened. Do you understand? No. So, but I'm coming down. So Babangida 
God did. And then, was that the Saturday said him for many years. I, I'm him. coming now. I'm coming. Before the can, we are talking about the cancellation now. The cancellation of the event. Yes. And two, yes. you didn't you not see that even from the West, there were people who supported the can. Who there are big big men who joined in the cancellation of the election. But whatever it is, at that time, it was nobody was killing the Yorubas left and right. Babangida was virtually betraying everybody. In the, and today, have, have you not seen him on TV? Mm. Have you not seen how, how he was looking? Is God not wonderful? <laughs> Did you not see Babangida? Even though I have <laughs> promised, even though I have promised as from today, so long as he's my brother from the north, even if he's eating everybody in Nigeria fresh, you come out with Nigerian man like eating, I will not say it's bad, you know. Mm. Because I have learned how to support my people from what I have seen with Ibos and some people in Nigeria with Jonathan. But you must thank God for Yoruba. Yoruba supported by the other way, we don't have come. No, to no, you. I'm coming, please. I'm coming. Let me tell you what I'm coming. coming. Listen to me. To let a section of Yoruba supported Buhari. Listen to me. Listen to me, please. Let us make the end clear. You understand? We're all politicians. Yes. The thing Ibos, since 1960s, since the Oibo left the country, Yoruba was told one word. We are first Yorubas. You are first Yoruba before you are a Muslim, you are a Christian or Nigerian. Yes. So or not yes. so. Yeah, you are right. Abi? Okay. Yes, you are right, right. Now, all along, a Yoruba man, whoever he is, whether Muslim or Christian, preferred anybody in the South to rule him than a house man from the North. That's the truth about it. So, fortunately, I'm coming, sir. Let me learn. Let me learn. Fortunately, uh, yes. The center is controlled by non-Muslim, no northerners Are, are you getting me? Yes. And yes. Jonathan, fortunately for the North, Jonathan decided to use religion and slash the Yoruba to the extent, for the first time, for the first time, the Yoruba mm -hmm. were divided religiously. To the extent, Muslim Yoruba stood their ground and said they were not supporting Jonathan. They even refused to attend the meeting of the Jonathan. You are, the papers are there, their statements are there in the papers. So or not so, sir? Uh, no, I like this. there. That's the truth. He's there. <laughs> Even when he went, they, there were some few Muslim leaders who met Jonathan. The Supreme Council of Islam of Western Nigeria or Yoruba land came out mm. clearly and said, no, they disagree. Do you get me? We know the population of Yoruba close to 80% or let's say close to 60% are Muslim. This man considered the national conference. This is the Yoruba that were 10 ago. We read it and we had them saying it. Yes. So that succeeded in dividing the Yoruba themselves. Now, yeah, two, two, the humiliation, whatever they did to us, our own was that let them kill, kill us and reduce our population. But at least they still know that we are significant politically and they allowed us to maintain some position. But in the case of Yoruba, they were sliced out of the whole system. So or not so. That was how oh, like Tinibu you, and you, 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 you Boko Haram, if you have to talk about Boko it's not from the South now. I am coming now. Let me forget about Boko Haram now. You brought about the Yoruba politics. Now, Tinibu and the Yoruba generally carried yes. what happened to them and went to Kaduna and met them in Kaduna and begged them that we have to put our head together. Look, sir, let me tell you the truth and find out. At yes. a point, the Yoruba being humiliated under Jonathan were even considering to cut off and put their Oduga Republic. But they realized if they do that, the Igbos were completely in charge of finance, civil service, security, and everything. If they now do, do that, now you can be not dying. Exactly, exactly. I'm coming now. The Yoruba no, now. You didn't, didn't, didn't benefit at all. I, I'm coming, yes. The Yoruba at the point, the Yoruba intelligence at the point realized that if they cut off, the Igbos will finish them. If yeah. they stay as it is and they go continue ruling, they will be completely finished. Before Jonathan, the significant part of the economy, who are the accountants are Yorubas? Who are the judiciary and lawyers are Yorubas? Who are the civil servants are Yorubas? Today you can't find any one of them. So or not so? Uh, so that's why the Yorubas say, even if we want to leave this country, we must get this power out, out of the hand of the Igbos and reposition yeah, ourselves. Jonathan, you know, they're not really benefited from that, Jonathan, too much. Hey, what we, have, we have the calculations of the Igbos. We agree. Well, well, what can you do? He must now. He must. He wouldn't do uh, that. He must. He knows that we can do it. He must deal, deal with us. So that was why the Yoruba said no. 
What will I So, but what I assure you, we we'll keep on praying for uh, President Bebo. I, I or God, we have learned our lesson. We have been in, in our area here now. We we'll pray for him. We have, we have we have learned our lesson. Kule. We we pray for the prophet and, and, and even our prophet. No, to to tell you the truth, the Lord, the northern people, when we stand in the presidency, honestly, the trust at least of the southeast is finished. And I assure you too, in your Yoruba land, listen to me. I am coming. I am coming. If you really have in 1979, I am coming, please. Listen to me. Not that they have help themselves, gentlemen. Please, we don't need anybody in this country. They help themselves. Let me ask you a question, sir. Let me ask you a question. Between cars, yeah. industries, and human beings, who are more in number? I did not know that. Ah, not, not number. Not, I'm not talking about population. I'm talking of economy now. I'm okay. talking of okay. cars, car, car, the motors that we drive. Yes. And industries that we have. Yes. If you put them on one part and you put human beings on the other part, who are more in number? Ah. <laughs> cars are more. <laughs> cars are more than human beings. Good. Two, if you put fuel and food by the side, which one is consumed more? Ah, in food now. Good. And we have food. So yeah. people are actually helping themselves. Let me tell you, even in your Obama, let me tell you what they will do to you. Yeah. Right? What yeah. Obama of Lagos said that we are pushing them to the ocean. Most of these markets that are burning in Lagos, look at it, they are able dominated markets. You yeah. get me? They, yeah. they, they, they are, they, in fact, some Europeans were telling me when I was in Lagos last week and that it is we, the Northerners, when we are in charge of Lagos as federal capital, that open room for evil to come and dominate them. And it's over mm -hmm. now. And it's over. <laughs> All the business people are doing, we are going to bring it and do it. <laughs> you get me? Fashola yeah, for, wow. for, for the past five years have refused mm -hmm. to approve any industry, especially pharmaceutical to people, people, find out. You are, you are right. I get you. You, are right. you get me? You are right. So, the Eurobus in these four years, that's what we are telling us. If, if we in the North want to be useless again, let us be. But the Yoruba people in the four years, they want to control their land completely. That's why Buhari have to sign that Lagos is going to be given special status. Mm. We are going to have a kind of semi regional system. Lagos is going to have special status. It means nobody again will control Lagos. The indigenous of Lagos are the ones that are going to control Lagos. They can form mm. land policies. Do you get me? Mm. They may decide yeah. to say, you as a Yoruba man in Lagos, you will pay 5,000 naira per annum for a land. As can I mm. Me as yeah. a house man, I will pay 10,000 naira. Even man will pay 1 million naira. <laughs> this is why they are here for. Do you get me? So, the, uh, now, unfortunately, again, the attitude of the Igbos have made the illiterate northerners who have not gone to school to realize now, I said they are powerful. They are the ones who get these people land to stay. They are the ones who give them food by the power of God. Yes. They are the ones who accommodate yes. them by the power of God. Yes. You get me? Yes. See, yes. Igbos can turn around and humiliate us. Look at what they did to us. They, those people that they assembled, about 400 of them, and called them Boko Haram. Do you understand? Do you know that they yeah. picked them one by one? They were not moving in convoy. They made some of them to bring their urine. Mm -hmm. They also have to come and meet the president and tell him that, look, if one person is still among these people, I'm telling you, no Igbo man will come out of Kano. Mm -hmm. That was how they released the Hausa people from Jigawa and Kano, whom they selected and arrested and called them Boko Haram. Two, you are in Nigeria, I'm in Nigeria. Rochas was yeah. actually brought up in the north. But yes. it is in his own state. That's why we are telling you, even the Amici, the Rochas of Colorado that are MPs, we don't trust them. They are on their own. Let me tell you this. <laughs> they are on their own. Nobody can deceive us again. We are wise they are now. Men, uh. they are men. No, what, that, what, what I'm what I'm telling you, like what I'm telling you is that Rochas was in he is running to Sultan. He didn't know Sultan has no significant in this government. Even last two days he was in Sokoto. He didn't know that even Sultan has no significant in this in this government. He he, he, he was in this north. It was Rochas state. He was said that they started saying that Hausa people must have yes. ID card to live in that state. Yes. Can you hear me? They say Hausa yes. people must have ID card to live in state. Yes. Until when we mobilize our people there and say, okay, in that case, all thousands must live now. Then Jonathan now realized that there was something going on. You say, no, this things have to stop. Are we mad? Do you get me? 
Count every yeah, five shops in this in this loss. Six four shops are owned by Ibos. What what is Ibos contribution in the economy? It's not trade and fraudulent trade for that matter, including if Ibo have treated you. Unless you are not buying spare tire, it's spare parts mm -hmm. and tires and medicine. So or not so? If you allow you. Do you get me? Yes, we accommodated it. Is it going to Dubai to buy it to bring tech drugs that we, we cannot do it? Now the plan is drugs now. No Ibo-man will again sell drugs in this month. We are going to bring it from Ascano. Drugs are brought by air. They are going to open mm -hmm. massive coolers, cool, cool, cool rooms in Kano and import it all north and maybe whatever I want to buy, come and buy from Kano. Before people will sell drugs again. We are tired of all this nonsense. We know how to control our places, the way they control their own. What we are saying is that we are all Nigerians, but we are going to learn what they are doing in the Southeast and do it in the North too. Simple. Yeah. We, okay, we, we don't have ancestors back. If, if Buhari today as president of this country want to buy land in the East, you will go and negotiate everything. Tomorrow the chiefs will come and tell him that ancestors made them yesterday night and said they should not sell the land for them. So we, we, we don't have ancestors. Oh, we are the now. Yeah. We now, ancestors have told us that we have been careless. That's why we suffered for the past six years. We have to wake up now. Yeah. Allow you, no, it's okay. a very serious thing. I'll move forward. No, 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 no. no. I will cannot. The society is already adulterated. That's why, to be honest to you, let me tell you, to be honest to you, we never wanted Buhari in this law. We wanted the uh, Congress. Yes, yes. We want yes, that's what I'm saying. If it is Concord, or the primary, or Concord will have defeated Bari. Listen to me. Just, uh, hey, you know the Tinibus and Concord prefer, prefer, prefer Bari? Because they can do that. It's really tried. Can you hear me? Because yes. Concord will have solved this North-South problem for us within six months. Mm. In Kano, Concord got us all the Ibos and told them that all these drugs that he closed, all those same drugs they are selling in Kano. They know him now. Mm. So that's why we wanted Congo to be the the the, the, the he was made in Abuja and one of after the election that they were the ones in charge of seventy five percent of Abuja they are on they should be given minister of can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Negotiation said this is the governor they want with their rule at everything. He was saying no, he cannot be governor. Haba, haba, mm -hmm. haba. In somebody's land. In somebody's land. Haba <laughs> Haba The arrogance is so much. <laughs> so ten years ago I won it. I say the Igbos are building nation within our nation. They will oh. engage us within our nation and reinforce from their nation. That is exactly what we saw during the tenure of Jonathan. Immediately we bought it Jonathan. What we did to Jonathan in this north, Igbos, the Igbos in the north, their chiefs, gathered and came to the glare of yeah. everybody on TV. They said it was nobody that voted, the, voted Jonathan, but the Igbos were the ones who voted him. Did you know the other one? Did you not read it? In Alano, Ibo said we didn't vote Jonathan. It was there that voted Jonathan. Two, before elections again, they gathered themselves and came and met Jonathan and met in Abuja and said that they are directing all Ibo in the north must vote Jonathan. We don't mind. We don't mind. Let them vote anybody. But can you do that in the, in the south, southeast? The state was yeah. not even voting. Let me answer this. Amina wa alaykum salam. We call you. Yeah, Thank you. Can you hear me? Uh, in the South East, all houses in the South East were prevented from voting. Find out. Mm -hmm. Yes, find out. But yet in our own land, they will stand and say that. Just, it, is, it is their problem that's forced above Lagos to say that if if they don't, they try to frustrate the decision of the Europe, but they will send them to Russia. And I'm telling you, after four years, at least not we are liberal, but in the southwest school, after four years, Igbo mm -hmm. can never be use, useful and relevant again in the southeast. Wait and see. Mm -hmm. Even, in fact, the plan is the plan of APC is that they are going to make alliance of northwest economic development. Mm -hmm. The west has the ocean. Can you hear me? Yes. We must have agricultural produce. Yes. So what they are going to do, they are, the government is going to develop all the agricultural and mineral resources in the north. And then mm. they will put primary industries here. And then go yes. and export, the, finally finish them in Lagos or Southwest and export them and bring back the money and share it between the two regions. Let them bring their oil. 
This is the plan on ground. <laughs> Let's just pray for success of uh, uh, Mr. General Barry. For that, in success is our success. For that, we can benefit better. It's true. That's our prayer now. Ah, that's yeah. our prayer here. Everybody is praying for his daughter for that. This is successful. Everybody is successful. Everybody help us. No, but not to the extent of living the way we are. Our prayer now is that may God remove the influence of the Southeast in our region. That's all what we are praying. Better right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. I like you, okay. No, no, no. Well, the Boko Haram, these people, these people are catch red handed with bombs. Who are supplying the air with weapons? Who killed General oh. Shua? The thing we don't know. They were saying that they were revenging what they did to them in Biafara. Biafara was a war, it was a state war, trying to bring them back to the nation. Not so. Do you get me? So we usually yeah. studios started Boko Haram, but there was hand. Don't worry, investigation will reveal everything now. Don't worry. We were just exercising patience, looking at what is happening. That is typical Boko Haram. That's how we are. Just look at what is happening. But we drew a line. 2014. 20, have you 20 between the colleagues? It is yeah. the end of it. Whether anybody knows or don't win, it's okay. That was our decision, honestly. And they met yeah, yeah. in Inugu. And re listen to me, they met and saw it that. In the event of cutting it, why would they put their people? That's why the man has to yeah. surrender now. Let him, in fact, some of us preferred him to have been resistant so that we will redefine this country. I'm telling you. Uh, they did a lot of actuality with men. Don't feel like killing. Let everybody go his way. Ha! <laughs> if you know Rain that is falling with us now, we have the food. What is oil? Look at Niger. That, uh, that Aaron Rano is still selling oil. He's bringing it from Niger. Uh, what is the big deal? It is when they met and saw the danger of any attempt. That was how they surrendered. But honestly, we have already made up our mind. Made up because we said to ourselves, if you don't, even if you stay, you are, they are going to kill you. Abi, and that Jonathan from Namadi Sambo down to the lowest person he knows is a Boko Haram. They can trick you, whoever you are. We know that. At least we are part of the system. Uh, Thank you, Kule. Well, like bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you heard it. That is the full uh, leaked audio. Uh, I need everyone to share this video. We need to be sure who is that audio, who is who the person that is in that audio. We cannot just assume this is this person or that person. So I am going to open my phone line. Uh, let us uh, discuss this first, this audio. Uh, let us discuss this audio uh, for now. So I need everyone to share this video. So far, uh, the obedient people have not been obedient in sharing. Yes, two days ago, I told them, I gave them three chances. As you are looking at, So far, they have not met their own obligation. So, you only need to share it. I'm going to put down my number right there. Uh, we want to know who who was the, who is Kule, and uh, we know the name of the other one, Kule, and we also want to know the name of the man that was. Uh, Talking of uh, Mohamed Buhari and uh, others, our president and others, we want to know that because <clears throat> in this life, whatever you do, whatever you say, just like people are using what we say on social media to to spoil our name or to promote our name, so likewise. Uh, I am shocked. I don't know what to say. And uh, before that, let's go to Peter Obi, Peter Obi, vice president candidate. <clears throat> okay, let's start with uh, our father, Baba Ahmed Asinwaju Bola Ahmed Tunobo. Let's start with him. He picked a uh, 
Kazim, Shatima. Shatima, I think it's a, they said Sabisa Forest. Uh, governor, former governor of Bono State, he was in the office. Uh, uh, to be precise, May 29, 2011 to May 29, 2019. He served two times as a governor. That is a pass for him. And uh, please don't hesitate. We have uh, what they call it, Facebook star here. You can say star. Like I told you, I have limited time. Uh, I say, I see why you Bola Ahmed Tunobu is our father. Yes, I repeat it. Odunga, I'm telling you, is our father. I was not brought up in a culture where you don't respect your elder. No matter what the circumstances, I respect my elder. Is my elder, is my father, is our father. That is the fact. So take it or leave it. Mm. If you can call, it will be your father. How many years will be this in your I beg go and say, I'm even older than uh, will be vice president. What are you talking about? <clears throat> and uh, so don't, don't go there, please. So, Kasim Shatima. Okay, let me pick the first call. Give me a second scholar. I don't know where the person is calling from, but let uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, your name and yes. where are you calling from? My name is Roland. Roland, good. You are calling from me. Okay, go ahead. Eva, let me bring my English down so that other people will hear me. So, who is not able to hear? Please, right. remove, remove it from yeah. speaker. Remove it from speaker. Let us hear you clearly. Okay. I've done that, sir. Okay, go ahead. So, what did I want to say, Eva? If I will not tire, it's now for we to be preaching about the good news of Peter Obi, which the, the, the obedient way the family. I stop uh, preaching and uh, talking about this old Kaba. If I, you know, you went to a wedding. So, a wedding, oh, Afromo, more, Afro more, oh, or oh, 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 look at what everything did, did to you. If they are really good to you, they are sure for what, what they are doing. It's not. You have you also have children also who should live in, who, who, who is living in America also. One day they will go, they will also see what is going on. This is time for we to, to talk about a good governor, especially like Peter Obi. And stop uh, stop this uh, 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 all the old cabals. Who, who, who are the who hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is the problem. I, I, you, said, I said hold on, hold on. I allowed you okay. to talk. Okay, first of all, let me educate you. When you hear people are saying old Kaba, old Kaba, who is old Kaba? Shatima is not old Kaba. We are almost age mate. That is, I want to clear that one. Then okay. Peter will be vice president. I'm even older than him. <laughs> yes. Okay. So when you say old Kaba, old Kaba, the problem we are having here, when some people we just carry information, they will just run away with it. Like the governor of uh, the governor of uh, Ikogi, I'm if it can be my son, I'm older than him. Is that old Kaba? Yaya Belo, is Eba. Yaya Belo old Kaba? Yes or no? Eba. I ask you a question Is Yaya Belo old Kaba? Okay, yes, you don't, you don't want to. Hold on, hold on. When I was, hold on. You brought my, my you referenced me. You referenced me. You said when I was in a way, what the PC did to me, everybody know it. So yes. how did you support me when I was in a way? Did you, did you put one naira in that campaign? One naira. Eva, Eva, can I tell you that? Yes or no? Did you put, wait. My, 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 my old mother is from me. This is 
from Igbo Naba. Did you support me in one naira? One naira. Am I old Kaba? But you want me? I support with money. I support you with a lot of friends, with a lot of friends, which I did. Because we have been following you. We know you here. How we? How you come easily? How you go to? How you be fighting? Okay, as that as that your friend, as that your friend, after what I did for them in Italy, are they not ungrateful people? Did they not betray me? As that your friend, is he not a betrayer? They betrayed me. Yeah, if you don't want to hear yeah, you as it because this is a platform that is neutral. I'm not supporting Peter Obi. I'm not supporting Bola Metunubu. I am a neutral person. Today I'm very neutral. Now I'm an APC man. Where have you heard I did the cancel or, or chairman? Have you yeah. ever heard it? Okay. Am I the cause of Nigeria problem? Okay, now let's make it short. Let's make it short. You are spoken for six minutes. Don't watch, don't share. Just watch, don't share. I have eight channels. You cannot see the people. We uh, will watch, we will share, we will relax. We will share. That is called corruption. You are corrupt. We are corrupt. You are corrupt. So, the fact is that the only reason why I post my support. For Baba Ashinwaju Bola Metunumbu is because of the Christ, uh, Muslim Muslim picket. That is it. No other reason. I told you all, if you get if you go and pick Muslim Muslim ticket, I will post my support until they explain the reason. If the reason is genuine and it's authentic, fine. I will continue with my support. If the reason is not genuine, there's nothing I can do about that. So let's move forward to to what I was another call. You people don't want to share, but you want to call and and be enjoying the people that I share. We have five hundred plus people watching right now. I'm the one that share it. Hello. Hey, uh, are they here? Good evening, sir. Uh -huh. Good evening to you too. Uh, I'm calling you from uh, Bordeaux, France. Okay, from Bordeaux, France. Okay, go ahead. Sir, yes, I want to talk uh, about Jagaban, sir. Okay, go ahead. I think uh, his choice of uh, Shetima for the tournament, I think it's quite obvious. For okay. uh, good political observers, 
whether you want to admit that it was rumor, conjecture, or reality, it is out there that Shetima is linked to Boko Haram. Okay. It is out there. It is an open uh, information. You can just Google it and you will find it there. So I'm not uh, I'm not committing perjury now or anything by saying that Shetima has been linked. I Google it, too. I did not see it, too. I did not see it. Maybe you will send me the link. I will send it to you, sir. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I will send it to you, sir. Even his, uh, his fellow Northern governors were pointing fingers at him at that time that his uh, kingpin and arrowhead of uh, Boko Haram. Shetima even is the one that spearheaded the uh, uh, amnesty for Boko Haram uh, repentance, uh, so-called repentance Boko Haram uh, insurgent. He is the one that negotiated the amnesty for Boko Haram uh, insurgent uh, repentance. You can Google it, sir. Yes, sir. And I will send it to you if you want all this information. So for me, to go back to Bola uh, Ahmed uh, why he chose uh, Shetima, I think we all have to agree first and foremost, if we all have to agree that the number one problem in Nigeria now, beyond the economy, which is the obvious one, is security. And the, and the present uh, danger of uh, terrorism and the uh, ISWAP and uh, the same so-called Boko Haram. So the Bola Ametinubu being the political uh, grandmaster that he is, the political godfather that he is, I think he is not even, uh, he is not even beating about the bush. Okay, I think the first thing he wants to do to impress upon Nigerians when he, when he gets into office, that is Tinubu, is to stop Boko Haram. And who better to stop Boko Haram than their own leader, Shetima? So if Tinubu is going to tackle the issue of Boko Haram, I think uh, by uh, taking uh, along uh, their, their, their purported leader, I think that assuages uh, all the all the people are here inside, inside, inside our bushes already. Already, sir. So it's a good political, uh, I mean, it's an excellent chess move by uh, Senator Boramet, you know, for those that have a keen eye politically, anyway. Mm. So you are saying because uh, Baba Ashinwaju Boramet, you know, want to tackle the problem of insecurity in Nigeria, they want. That is why he chose Shatima, right? Shatima's, Shatima's only, only mandate on that Tinubu is to get his uh, fellow brothers and sisters who are disturbing us in our bushes to go back to where they came from. <laughs> hey, you know that? It is, it is, the, the constitution does not provide any official role for, for vice president in Nigeria, sir. I know so that. It is up to the president to delegate whatever responsibilities he did fit to his serving right. So if you remember in the case of uh, uh, Obasanjo, mm -hmm. he decided to give uh, privatization and all these things to Atiku, where the same Atiku stole all the money from which he's uh, calling himself uh, a, 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 big, a big man. These are all stolen money under Obama and your regime, but that is another subject for another data. So, the Bola Ahmed Tinubu's only mandate for Shetima, Shetima will not be saddled with the economy or power or education or anything. His only mandate, take your brothers from our bushes and go back to where you came from. Hmm. Caller, where did you say you are calling from? And this, and when uh, the APC son was telling you that the Zima was also picked on the strength of his ability to attract votes, they are not lying, sir. If you look at it now, all these full and yes, but they all have a uh, voter registration card, sir. The Zima's people have the PVC, or what do they call it in Nigeria? All those is bombers, all those people that are bombed, that came to release Fuji, that came to release their boys in Fuji, that bombed the U.S. Embassy, that bombed the, the Kaduna Abuja train. She, with one phone call, Shedima can return them back to where they came from. Uh, what is your name again? My name is George, sir. Are you, are, you, are you calling from Nigeria or from France? I'm calling you from Bordeaux, France. France. 
So how did you know about all this formation? I'm well read, sir, and I have a sister who is a lawyer in Nigeria. She's in Abuja. Ah. Okay. We want a, a Tunubu campaign to to come out and tell us we the Christian. I'm a Christian. And I have uh, Muslim brothers as well. I have uh, those that serve other religions as well as my family. So we want to know the reason why Christian were we're, we're, we're excluded. Uh, because. Sir, 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 sorry to cut you, sir. A Christian uh, vice president now will not have. Will not have uh, in any way, no, we are electing uh, the president. We are, that is why we want we are, want to elect him. No, but it's not, it's not, the job is not for the, the president alone. So, so the vice president is also very especially in, at this uh, this junction where Nigeria finds itself. Nigeria is at the crossroads now. So Ahmed Tinubu has taken, like, students of political history need to study the move Bola Ahmed Tinubu made in this 2023 election. For him to boldly decline Christian, Christian, uh, teachers, whatever, whatever, all these your sentimental uh, attachments to who should become the running mate. My sentimental. Now is now. is now my sentimental, B. Is now my sentimental. Please call on direct call. Uh, Mama H, call directly, direct call, please. So you said now with my sentimental, right? No, when we are talking about uh, the Christian, the person has to be Christian. Oh, that, that cannot happen. All right, now. all right. Thank you. Talk your own, make I talk my own. Talk your own, make I talk my own. No problem. Okay, sir. With a mm -hmm. Christian uh, vice president, help us to uh, fight. Please, Hold on, let me put somebody that will answer you on the phone. Hold on. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello, yes. Uh, good morning, Raymond. You begin to be all uh, talk with no action. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I sent you my. I, you my, uh, I asked you a question uh, yesterday. It says, send me your this thing. You did not. Now I'm. You now. Uh, when I'm on now. air, so I should leave the air and start doing that. Go to I PFN, type in PFN, type in PFN, or Mega Comrade. You can do the star from there. Just, I can't do it. That's what I'm saying. I'm no, PFN, let know, me tell you, you I'm cannot do it on PFN. People Freedom Movement. You can't do it on People Freedom Movement. But you can I'll do it. That. You can do it on Mega Comrade, Clement Iranomigo, Edegbe, and you can do it on PFN TV, international. Okay. Uh, so okay. go ahead and respond okay. to the person on the phone. He's on the phone with yeah. you. Um, I told you that the Shetima is the one behind Boko Haram. Mega Comrade, we don't want Bola Ahmed. I am I'm that. neutral on this. I'm neutral. So both of I you know, are. I know, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, these oh, whole people, these, these whole people, these whole people are corrupt. These whole people know the whole thing happening with these things and all that. It's a political game. And for Nigerians to get rid of all this, we need to get a good government that will get rid of all this. They all know themselves. Shetima is the one behind Boko Haram. He is one of the people behind it. You know, so the issue of people saying that uh, it's a good strategy for Ahmed for Tsunobu to pick him, so he'll be able to coordinate those people and stop the killing. My, let me tell you one thing. If he comes in and do that, another group will start another... Um, Issue again, like probably from Niger Delta. No, but okay, so well, all okay. the, the group we have for now is Boko Haram. But let me tell you something. This Boko Haram you're talking about, I hope you know they are they are not only northerners. They come from different places, different places, different country. You know that they're not only from north. They're not only from the north. They are not from let's, Nigeria. Let's call, let's call let's call a spade a spade. We need to get rid of all the politicians. So all every one of them. I don't care who the hell Tunubu is. I don't give a damn who Atiku is. We need to get rid of those people if we need to move forward. Well, it, it, it's easier said than done, my brother. I understand. I understand. I, 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 understand I understand what you say. It's easier said than done. But people like you and I, if we can come out, if we come out and speak to people, the reason why they need to vote those people out, you will know what I'm talking about. You will see the difference. You will see how would you be in a country?
country whereby education has more value. Criminals have more value than people who are educated. You see criminals driving exotic cars, criminals living in mansions, but people who spend their time to go to school cannot even get a good job. They struggle to even eat and all that. You know, we need to all this, this. All, all these conditions you enumerate, my bro. These all these are conditions that are prevalent in underdeveloped countries, if you agree with me. And Nigeria, where we find ourselves as an underdeveloped country, we have to adapt as as it is. Which is we should not thinking we can just wake up one morning if we stay, and we can have to stay in Europe or in America. No. If we keep if we keep saying we have to adapt from the way it is, we will not grow. We will not grow. So whatever we need to do, we have to do it now. We okay, I want to if ask Nigeria you. Wants to end, if Nigeria wants to end with this situation, let Nigeria end. If Nigeria wants to end, let it end. Nigeria you know, cannot we end. Can't say, we, can, we can't keep saying we need to adapt, we need to because uh, the Western world is different from... No, we have to start from somewhere. We have to start from somewhere. Okay. I need everyone to share this video in about a few minutes. I'm going to be going. Thank you for calling. Let's give another person a chance to talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Hello, caller. I am doing fine, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Jackson. I'm calling from Ontario, Canada. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Yes. Concerning this, uh, first of all, I am supporter of that movie. Okay. And my reason is, I would rather have this. I'm not saying it's uh, so innocent or not corrupt, or, but it's more enlightened. It has something to offer. If you look at the standard when it was governor of an embassy, forget about what people are saying, it's changing. That's not the governance we're talking about. Governance is about social amenities, jobs, security, the basic things of the population. That is what governance is about. Which Peter will be did a lot in an embassy. People are talking about how much he left in coffers or in government account before he left. No, I don't care about that. I care about what your people were able to gain from you as a governor. So I will rate Peter Obi 70% when he was governor. And looking at Peter Amesinubu and Atiku and Peter Obi, I feel like it is better for me to support Peter Obi because he has something to offer compared to those other uh, two candidates from the other parties. Now, going to this Muslim, Muslim um, uh, running team for APC, whatever they are doing. Uh, My brother, have you shared this video? If I have shared this video? Uh, no, no, I have not shared it. Okay, go on, share. Okay. Thank you. This is the problem of Peter Obey supporters. And this, this will be one of the reasons why I will not support I hate people that want to be using others. They know how to force you. They know how to talk the talk. But they don't know how to walk the walk. Samuel Aredo, I acknowledge your, your support. God bless you. Uh, Samuel Aredo, thank you for giving me the, I think, a sticker, super sticker. God bless you. Uh, oh, that is the guy that just uh, spoke a while ago. You see that? You see that this is the guy that just spoke a while ago. You people are nothing. I just to on my platform after sharing the video, after suffering, you want to promote your candidate. I told you I'm neutral in this. What are you? You cannot share video, but you want to call him. Hello, caller. Hello, good evening to you, comrade. Yeah, you, uh, your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Milan. Milan, have you shared this video? Sure, I've done that. I've done okay, that. Uh, send me the link. Send me the link of your Facebook page. I want to check it. Thank you. Exactly. So, from now on, before you call, if you did not share this video and you call my phone, we block your number. Moki, the work, Bambo, the job. I don't tire. Come on to share video. It will be fast. We don't share. Except you come and say, you did something not by force. I told you people the other day, I say House of Assembly, House of Representatives, 
in Ori Wano Honde, this is where I stand. That was not enough for you people. And you people did not meet your obligation. Instead of me to follow the angel that will not do anything to help the security or to reduce the security of Nigeria, then I will follow who I know that will fight and reduce it. And you people are go about to lose me. You are about to lose me because of sentiment, because of selfishness. You will come to a show, a mega show like this. You will just come and start calling. Just did the, the watch. Come on to share, come on video. They're not the people to share. You don't defeat share. But if I come here and lie to you now that, ah, El Amigo, El Amigo is thinking of something. There you go, say, hey. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? As a matter of fact, I will reduce the time of a broker. Then I go to work. Nigeria not be missed, Bola. You see her? So what I am saying, not only Baba Ashiwaju Bola Metunubu can pay release the reason why they choose mostly, mostly ticket. I am going to be neutral. Um, that being said, let me go to the next one. Instead of listening to, to the, this uh, Shetima, uh Kasim is a father. He has children. He's 55 years old. A young, a young man, very young, very young. 55 are not the Nigeria youth. Back in the days when then President uh, Mohammed Buhari was in military. Uh, they were 30, 32, 33, go one, the rest. Uh, if uh, they were ruling Nigeria at 30s. Now, because of the laziness of Nigerian people, look at Peter Obi fans now. They cannot share video. They could not even share video. They failed. So because of the laziness, now the youth are not pushed to 50, 50 years plus. You can imagine. That is not caused by me. That is not caused by me. So he's 50 years old. He's from Bono. He was he was born in a, 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 a I think a Madiguri or something Madiguri, and uh, he, he is well educated. When you talk of education, I think he has a master degree from University of Ibada or so. Uh, so the, uh, let me just go ahead. He said, "All Progressive Congress APC, the son of Governor Governor of Northern Nigeria, Kasim Ibrahim." Ibrahim Shatima graduated from the University of Madiguri and University of Ibada. After schooling, he entered business. He entered business and then banking, uh, eventually uh, rising to hold a several high ranking executive position at bank. By the mid twenty, uh, by the mid twenty centuries, Shatima was the manager of Zenith Bank, the Zenith Bank, the popular Zenith Bank. You are hearing it. He was the manager of Zinet Bank Madiguri office before leaving the position to enter the state cabinet of governor. Ali, Ali Mudu Sharif in 2017. After four years in the cabinet, he was elected governor in 2011 and re-elected by, by a wide margin in 2015. His term in office was dominated by the deadly Boko Haram insurgency. Shatima was later elected to the, to the Senate in, 19, in 2019. Despite being, let me finish it, despite being uh, renominated for Senate in 2023, he withdrew from the nomination to become Tunubu Ronnie May. You can see that. So this man, his people love him. The people of Bonu, they gave him two times as executive governor and is a senator. You see that 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 I'm reading what I see. Let's go to Ifan Okowa. Ifan Okowa was born was born July 8, 1959. A young man. A young man. 1959. That is almost independence day. Are you people listening? Even Shatima is more younger than him. Ifan Yokowa is a Nigerian doctor and a politician who has served as the governor of Delta State since May 5, uh, 2015 
a member of the People's Democratic Party. He is a party vice presidential nominee in the 2023 presidential election running alongside of Atiko Abubakar. Ifai Ato Okowa, governor of Delta State Ikuban Azub office in 29 May 2015, the deputy, blah, blah, blah. So that one is there. You can see Ifai Okowa is there. Politician medical doctor born in a Owa Olaru in 1959. Okowa graduated from University of Ibadan in 1981. After schooling, he worked in medicine for several years before entry politics. Okowa first established himself in local politics before entry the state cabinet of Governor James Ibori in 1999. After leaving cabinet in 2006, Okowa made a fair primary bid for governor, for governor before returning to the state cabinet under his former opponent, Emmanuel Oduokwan, in 2011. Let's, let's call that one short. Okay, let's go to, let's go to Yusuf. Let's go to Yusuf uh, Baba Ahmed. Yusuf Baba Ahmed, this is Obi, this is Obi, Obi, Obi Vice President. Yusuf Baba Ahmed, born 7th July 1969. 1969. He's a Nigerian economist and a politician who served as a senator for Kaduna North from 2011 to 2012 and member of the House of Representatives from 20, 20, 2003 to 2007. Imagine he have been a politician for a long time, these are all political. A member of Labour Party. He is the party vice president nominee in 2023 presidential election, running alongside of Peter Obi. Yusuf uh, Dati Baba Ahmed uh, is from Kaduna North, and uh, he may. Let me go straight to what he has done. Uh, Labour Party from the permanent Baba. Ahmed family of Zaria. Baba Ahmed graduated from the University of Madiguri. After schooling, he worked in business and banking for several years before entry politics. Baba Ahmed was elected as a House of Representatives member for Zaria in 2003. Wow. 2003. Why in the politics? He became known for speaking out against corruption and the third time agenda after leaving office in 2007. Baba Ahmed continued advocating for good governance while returning to his base business, you know, grouping and uh, funding base university by 2011. He moved back to political and successfully ran for senator for Cardinal North. However, the electoral uh, tribunal overturned his victory and he left office in 2012. After an unsuccessful presidential campaign in 2019, he campaigned in 2019, PDP, he was a PDP member, listen. In PDP primary, Baba Ahmed joined the Labour Party in 2022 to become Peter Obi running mate. You see that? You see that? Yusuf Dirty Baba Ahmed was born to the Baba Ahmed family in Zaria in 1916. Yeah, we already talked about that. So, flashback to all this. We all now know, we now know that. If we talk of education right now, all of them are qualified. Good Lord Jonathan was a PhD. We see how it goes. My prayer right now is for God Almighty to allow who we save Nigeria, who we save our innocent poor citizens, who we save our people to win this upcoming election. With the way the youth are going, and me, I'm not going to fall for this trap. I am neutral. 
to this one say, I'm not helping matter. How am I not helping matter? How am I not helping matter? Tell me. Tell me how am I not helping matter? I am doing my own part. But you people are not doing your own part. I, we need Mama H to call in here. We need Mama H to call in. We are waiting for Mama H call. We are waiting for Mama H call. You see this page right here. I'm the one that share everything. Only me. I'm a sharer. How can you just pick up a phone and start calling my line? And say you want to contribute. Mocky the word about the chop. Come on to share video. You cannot share. You see, because uh, I, I am not doing what you see. I'm this 20 share. I'm a share. See I'm. That is from a mega comrade. You see, huh? Let me share. I told you people. I told you people. This is this is do for me. I do for you. Operation do for me. I do for you. How am I not helping matter? Have you shared this video? That is the question. Have you shared this video? So the truth is that if Baba Asiwaju. Bola Ahmed Tunubu can be able to tell us the reason why he picked this man. I have to be honest with you. Even with this less than 24 hours of being neutral, I am not seeing what Peter will be fans are doing that will make them to win presidential election. Rather, I will advise them to concentrate on local House of Assembly, House of Representatives, instead of uh, going after the presidency, because the way, look at you on my platform right now. Look at the way you are behaving here now. It's discouraging. I'm a neutral man right now. I'm speaking from, from independent mind. Imagine somebody will call him. He has not shared the video, but he just called him. He want to come and talk to others that people share. That is corruption. This one is, you see, this one is already started. I told you, I'm a, I'm a man, I'm a man of my word. I told you, I, I say, if I wake up, I did not see, okay, let's answer our Mama H. Hello. Hey, yeah, call you. Hmm. Hey, Long time, Mama H. <laughs> easy, easy. Uh, this situation that we are now, uh, um, can you I'm educate us? Oh, you are holiday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, go ahead, Mama Ish. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to speak. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, one of my brothers said that he must be a good political move for this position. Hey, Mama Ish, speak a little bit louder. I said, one of our brothers said it was a good move, good political move mm -hmm. for Tinubu to, uh, Baba Ahmed Tinubu to pick a Muslim Muslim ticket. Mm. A Muslim Muslim ticket. Mm. Is he also aware that the same Boko Haram are looking for Tetima to finish him off? They are looking for him? Yes, because when the father died, when the father died, he couldn't go to Bordeaux State. What? So he'll be also aware of that. Man, guys, if you want to know more about him, just my, uh, this, uh, this woman, they, I don't know what happened to her. And I, I can't see who the point. But there's a woman called Mama Taraba. Mama Taraba. So Google it and see what, what she says about him. Then you will know better. You will hear, or you will hear better, rather. Wow. The thing is that no one can really point what is going to happen when it comes to Nigeria policy. I keep saying it. These people, the Fulani, they know how to play the policies. And the people in the South will fall on for their, their money. They will fall. That is the thing. The Fulani, do you think they're coming out to talk? They know how to play the game. They know that a win is that when you offer them money, they will take it. And can it is not the same as people that said that it's a, 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 a Igbo man can even give his own brother because of money when it comes to election. Mm -hmm. It's not the same as Tikuma. 
Google said it. Yeah, so he, they know. I just wish it's about four, four of them, like someone from the South side, so that we would have said they should just share this whole region on the game, so that everybody should go and take off their own region. That would have been, I wish yeah, there will be another fourth person. It's too late for that. But at the moment, it's too late, and we just hope for the best. For me, I can't see myself and ask people to go and vote for someone with Muslim Muslim people. <laughs> and you were once supporting, before, you were supporting to before. before. Mm. No, before it was okay. Because I know during uh, MTO Abiola, like, it was Muslim Muslim people. But the tension was not like this before. Not now. That man knows what he did to the Boko Haram. He should come out and open up and beg them for forgiveness. If that man comes out and beg the Boko Haram for forgiveness and tell them the truth, who killed Ali, the former leader, perhaps these guys will relax. He should come out and speak the truth. Wow. Wow. Hmm. All right, Mama H. We we'll pray for the best. Amen. Uh, thank you for calling. Thank you. We appreciate your call. Wow. Bye. Bye. Wow. What they are now bringing out, they said a flashback. They said in 1978, UPN. I don't understand politicians just think we are stupid. I don't know. Why would anybody bring this out? Saying that in 1978, UPN, presidential uh, uh, touch bearer, chief uh, Awolo War, Obafemi, pick his running mate, chief uh, Uman de Philip, whatever, ready to win, but fail. The Christian Christian, no comment. You see what they are bringing out? In 1979, Dr. Unanji Azikiwe, and uh, Professor Ishaya Audi of Kadna State ran upon Christian Christian. Uh, you, you want to know the party later? What are they talking about? What are they talking about? In, uh, there was no insurgency. There was no killing. There was no full army henchmen. There was no Boko Haram. I don't understand. Sometimes politicians, they just think we are just dumb. And the reason why they are thinking like that is people like some of these OB supporters. Who know how to talk the talk, they don't want the work. I have seen them, I tested them for I've tested them, they failed. I tested them. I wanted to see how dedicated, how obedient they really are. They failed. They failed. And the same way they will fail in 2023 if they are not careful. They fail. It's not to just make noise. You know what I'm saying? It's not to just make noise. Election is still seven months away. Very far. Instead of a big supporter, I'm not a big supporter. Everybody knows that. I am not. Even that they freeze, it don't run. That one just make use, they use, they use, they use, they run. Me as a honest man, just I, let one be supporter call me. And say this is what I have done. This is what I've done. There's no one. Oh, it's on social media. It's not like me when I was talking on social media. They say, ah, it's on air. Come on ground. I went on ground. When I enter Europe, enter everywhere. They will not say, go back to America. Go back to America. Come to Nigeria. Come to Nigeria. I went to Nigeria. When I reached Nigeria, they were not saying, go back to America. Why would you come from America to come here? And be? You see, that is a man. A man that do what he say we do, and a man that put his mouth where his money is. So, oh, this Peter will be Peter will be so called follower. This Peter will be so called follower. They are abusive. They are user. They will use you. 
They will want to force you and use you and humiliate you. Tomorrow, if it will be failed, they will say, I am amigo cousin. I am neutral. I am not neutral to support Peter Obi. I am neutral. I want to know why. I see why you bola me to nubu, baba to nubu, why he picked with select most select people. With this demonstration, Peter Obi have demonstrated, fans have demonstrated. It, it discouraged me. Very, very discouraging. That is the fact. Hello, my brother. Hello. Hello, my brother. How are you doing? What's up? Yeah, Mega, the stuff is not good. I tried on I tried on Mega coming the uh, post and uh whatever it's not it, when I click on comments or whatever it says uh it's, it no says, it's not uh, comment. Let me show you uh, why you are watching it. You cannot you cannot comment on this post right now. The broadcasters choose to apply this setting. Yeah. Uh let me uh go ahead and be talking. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, so yeah. So I was gonna tell you the the voice um, um video the, the call you were play for us to listen to that was Shetima who was on the phone with with uh, with Ibukula Amoso before that was the former state former state governor. Okay, you know? what I ask you to do for me, Mr. Raymond, is to send me the screenshot to your Facebook page and send it to me. Then I will see. I the no, I sent it as text to you. The, the phone I'm using to talk to you don't have uh, this thing. A so my other phone that has a uh, screenshot. screenshots. Okay, yeah. so that's the only way I will know because there are a lot of prints, prints on do in uh, Facebook a lot. So my own, my own is the one that has just the uh, native attire without just the picture of a native attire. I know. So anyway, that would be later, no problem. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I'll just I'll, I'll just let me know when I'm able to do that. I can send right, no problem. To you no problem. That. No problem. So just to let you know, that person that was on the phone was Shetima and uh, former Ogun State Governor. And Tunubu said that the reason why he chose Shetima was for competency. So what he's trying to tell us that there's no Christian, there's no other person that is competent to do anything again. But well, here is the problem, that. Mr. Remo. Here is the problem. I'm going to go to work in a few minutes. Here is the problem. Obi yeah. supporters, Obi supporters, let us be honest, Obi supporters, a lot of them are users. They want to use you. I am, yeah, a, victim, well, I, I am a victim of Obi supporters. They want to no, use you. Medical, one thing you need to do is, one thing you need to do is, um, that's why I, I think, I think, one thing you need to sound like Bishop now. A lot of people are complaining about Bishop because Bishop has no point. Well, well, what is saying? You can tell that Bishop is speaking for his own personal interest. But Bishop, Bishop is not here today. I am I know, here by myself. I know, I know but we, trust me. You my know, the, my you brother, know, my brother, the fact is that I know these people. When I was in America, they were calling. They were telling, go and run for governor. Go and do the, come to Europe. Come to Europe. All these people, mostly of them, 90% of them are been in Edo, Edo State. That is the fact. 90% of them are from Edo State. They will tell you, they will write, they will do this, they will do that. At the end of the day, they will chicken out. I'm telling you, look at them. I know them. Me, me. I, I, sh I share your video. I share your video. I know. That, I, know. I, I, stars, I, would have I, I know. Stars, so these people, okay. that is how they are. Monkey, they walk, bamboo, they chop. At the end of the day, the, they will turn around and fight you. I know them. But the thing is that, but the thing is that most people are able to tell you that they are supporting people. But they are all supporting saying that for their own personal interest. Because if every one of us needs to be, we are listening and tell ourselves the truth. We don't have to give this for people a chance anymore. Tunubu has been in power for how many years? No, 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 he has not been in power. No, he has not been in power. Tunubu was one who brought was the one that brought Buhari to us. Tunubu brought Buhari to us. Look at what what is going. That one is not is not is not, it's not his fault. Now everybody, now all of us do one. I supported Buhari. Even one square meal, some people cannot even have one square meal. And she has never been this this bad or tough. That is Tunubu. That is not Tunubu fault. Imagine now we are on social media. Come on to share video. They will not share. It's because of laziness of youth. They are lazy. Buhari said it. They are lazy to take power. They are lazy to go vote. They are lazy to register. Don't you see the, the Northern and even 30 years old, they are lining up to collect PVC. Uh, if not this uh, Peter will be, uh, they are, these people will not go and collect their PVC. They will not go. I know that. They will not even go. 
They will not go. I know them. I know them. I challenge them and they fail. The only way you will you will you will know them is by say, let us do this. You do this, I do this. They cannot make it. They cannot. That is the fact. Me, I'm not gonna put myself in failing a situation whereby tomorrow you will be blaming me on it. I would rather be neutral. Hello. Hello, I tell you we are dumb, sir. Uh, you, where, where are you calling from? Your name? Uh, from Italy. Okay. Dumb, sir. We only have a We only have Oh, okay. Please speak a uh, broken English. Uh, eh? uh, broken, broken, broken English. Broken English. Broken English. Okay. Okay. To support you, Peter. I will be. Oh. Hey, you can support Peter. I will be. I have right to who I want to support. I'm oh. neutral. Why? 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 You because want I want to be neutral. Why you not go support it? I don't want why to. Not go support you, Peter. I don't want to be why? a failure. I said it in 2000 that uh, I will not support any candidates. Uh -huh. Myself will go. We go and contest, and I have done that. While we may okay, speak up, while we speak up, you are calling me. You put it on speaker phone. So, my people, the fact is that that is the fact. He said, "I don't talk about Tonobo Van. Are you crazy? You know, don't you see me? Are you? Am I not the one that brought that audio and played here? Oh no, a problem. This is the problem you people have. If this is how you going to do it, imagine now. I was thinking. I was thinking." Of doing one thing and the other, and you people have completely discouraged me now. See, uh, that is the problem, man. Why would you come by? I'm not, I war. I know the support failure. La lie. When I see the mechanism, I think about it. This: if that man is actually trying to destroy Boko Haram, try to fight his suggestion. Fine, simple. Hello. Yes. Yeah, quick question, beggar. Your name what and where are you calling call? from? One second, just hold on a second. You see the problem, that's it. Your name and where are you coming from? You are asking questions. These are Peter Obi fans. And if they make me vest now, I go withdraw my, my local support. I go still withdraw, it will withdraw each share, it will withdraw it. No, I have a good of you, money, memo, but this is not a winnable strategy for Peter Obi people. The strategy you people are implementing is not winnable. That is simple and clear. Um, so that is, I tested them. I said, let me give them a fair, a fair hearing. I gave it to you. All. Then I see that these people are all talk. The comedian are making money with Peter Obi. So social media blogger are making money with Peter Obi. Me, I don't want to make money with Peter Obi. I want to speak the truth. Where are the Peter Obi fans? Where are they? They are not here. Where are they? The small ones that are here, they will call. They will not share. I have about uh, five, six minutes for me to go to work and go and work. Obama, I get a hand when I take work. I'm not a lazy man. I will go and work. I am not supporting Peter Obi. I never said I'm supporting Peter Obi. Uh, that is, a, I am neutral as of today. So when I get information, the reason why they pick Muslim, Muslim ticket, before I will know what to do. I have a voter card. I have my vote. I will go and vote. I will tell my fans, my people to go and vote. Uh, you see, uh, they will go and vote. Me, I will not waste my 26 million voters card. I will not waste it. Uh, this one is say support PDP. <laughs> God forbid me article. God forbid I am neutral. If APC know what they are doing, they will quickly do something right. As of today, I am neutral. See, I'm now neutral. Uh, you know, my first person when I get for heart, I'm be Baba asking why you bola me to no go. So that is it, my people. The truth has to be told. So, guys, like I said, 
OP supporters are not ready. If I come on air tomorrow, and tomorrow be the last day. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let, let me read this. Uh, this uh, in there or ne, in ne, ne, I don't know. Exactly, you are not supporting him. You, that is, you are not supporting Peter Obi. Also, want to. You are an idiot. What, what, you, are, you are very stupid. If it will be people, which money they have? Go and sit down. Is it not the same you that I went to go and help in Europe? Hmm? Eh? That is the same people I, I went to go and help in, in Europe. This is the problem. This is what Bishop was saying. Bishop said Christians are very, very lazy to go and enter politics. If you tell them to go and take a voter's card, they will go to church and be praying. And they will be saying, God, 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 come in. God is not in Nigeria. God has left Nigeria. The sin was too much. He left Nigeria. The Christians, they don't have privacy. The one that have, this is what Bishop was saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now you are about to bad more than what you can join. Now you can no longer come here and comment. You see how you just own yourself. Hmm? You see? A woman OP supporter, female, they know they respect me. If OP become president, what will happen? I'm, I'm neutral. What will happen? That is the question. What will happen? Oppression. And I'm fighting against oppression. Instead of you people to go and concentrate on a local election, uh, House of Assembly, House of Rep. You people are here running. Mama Ish, they call back. Hello, Mama Ish. <laughs> Mega. <laughs> this is the same arrogance they said they are talking about. It may work, Mama. Very very supposed to be. I want to. Do the one thing. Yeah, they don't respect the elders. They don't know how to respect. Eh. But they will tell you in their tradition they don't know how to respect elders who be skilled. I don't know how elders be skilled. <laughs> and they want the they, will show they don't have respect at all. No, no. single respect. No. <laughs> now, now go and go and if I touch my now, I'll I'll kill your wife. Hey, what up? Hey, now we can hear you. Let us see why. Uh, uh, Baba, as you are Bola Betrugu, choose Muslim Muslim ticket uh, before we know what to do. You see, all these obese supporter, this obese supporter, now, now, Mugu, then the Kajen, then the that the freeze, that they, they, are know they don't know anything, don't they are not educated, they don't know don't anything. Don't mind them. God bless people you. are a bit more politics in Nigeria, political history, mm. and know why, why the people like this are angry of them. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, to when, when, when we had when we had the uh, uh, regional uh, uh, government working fine for everybody, they came and destroyed. They, they, they will not talk about that. Uh -huh. That is where we are. We are where we are now. Now they said they don't want one Nigeria. When they when they not the one that look for one Nigeria. Uh -huh. Now they don't want. Imagine. If they don't get it, they will spoil it. Exactly. That is how they are. Huh? You see, huh? <laughs> Lau is telling me, he said, You are part of people that destroy Nigeria. He will... <laughs> no, they destroy it. I don't think it will not be good to see the people that destroy Nigeria. You when see, we had, when we had regional government, they destroy it. Uh, users, they users, 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 hey, only, two day, only two days, only two days, we are not feel maintain relationship. Marriage does scatter. You see, huh? <laughs> you see, huh? You see, huh? Ish, Mama Ish, he be like, see, like, you, like your girlfriend. Mama Ish, if you don't see Mama Ish, if you don't see Mama Ish, like my sister, if you want, if you, Mama Ish, like my sister, young, young heart. Baba is Baba here. Baba here. I will. 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 I will.
Okay. Why would they not be angry? If not me, I'm not depressed. You see? You see? Very aggressive. I keep saying this all the time. These uh, uh, people, these uh, 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 majority people, when they were remarking what Adobia and worked on, did they remember anybody? Okay. And again, when we, we have regional government working fight for everybody, even though we were, they were cheating us, I would later came out with uh, uh, Midwestern. Because if one had that Midwestern, they destroy it. See, these people, yeah, they don't want to respect that. Do you know it was during NCNC they removed a uh, 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 former left Olu of Kori? Who, who was behind it? They deposed him. It was like it's a city. Who was behind that? They should go and read the bad policies in Nigeria, political history, before they'll be coming to advocate welfare. Be careful. But I vote in here. I, I vote in the That is my family. I vote in the Maropa. Iriyo wase. Iriyo wase. Iriyo wase. Iriyo wase. Iriyo wase. But look, but you say, here we are. They will give them money. Make them go to where they want to. They will vote for. Those ones will collect money. They don't go vote for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have respect for anybody. You get no. bad character. You give a You see what you see within uh, arrogant, arrogant put on that arrogant. You see within arrogant because if you are not respecting elders, you don't respect maybe some of you are senior papa. And I mean the fight on a fight for six years. We on a day. You say when they were doing IPOP, 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 they will be abusing everybody. You people are not obedient. You people are disobedient. OB supporter. A lot of them are disobedient supporter. Motai. Bowata. Would I never see that because a Baba has what you bola met you. Go carry Muslim, Muslim ticket. Me and one made that one clear. If that one clear finish, you go see with whether my my 26 million voters card. 26 million voters card. I see what you bola me to be more yo. And I go even snap and show her to the whole world. Una I go clear. Una go no say na 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 arrogance na it destroy na. I give you people a fair hearing, a fair a fair ear. You people, no, no one listen. I give you people a fair opportunity. See Nana, how can you imagine? You, you want me to suffer for you. You want me to suffer for you. I don't tell you, I say, I'm okay. You want my body job, I know they are. Do for me, I do for you. Operation, do for me, I do for you. Simple. If I have to support any candidate since 2000. I talk in the year 2000. I will not support any candidate. Now, only Boa Metunubu. Finish. Finish. If the Christian community accept her, who is me not to accept her? If the Christian community just come and now say, ah, they are fine with it. Mm. There's nothing I can do. Not be misspoiled, Nigeria. All this, uh, them, uh, the video and the red, with DSL, do they maladen. All of the go wrong enter house. I don't know, know what you're waiting on at the pool. See you now. Come on, share, share video. Now come disgrace on myself. Come on, share video, share video. You understand? You understand? Now I'll go. Peggy. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go. Tessie. Tessie, I don't want to block you. Make you write. Uh... Uh, make it the right way. I know I block you. I know say you be good person uh, because you you set you 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 know you know where you where you don't remove sentiment it is that is what happened. So remove it. Will be supporter are not ready for presidential seat. 
But for House of Assembly, House of Representatives, if they make me mad, then I will withdraw that support back. I will withdraw and my money, now my, te, now my money, I take feed that holy unit. Now I'm ego menu, my money. If you not come here, I will. If, if not Tunbo, I won't give unto her, I will give unto her. Uh, for now, I will not give Obi that voter because of his, his supporter arrogance. His supporter, they are disobedient. They are not obedient, they are obedient to liars, deceivers. Uh, that is who they are obedient to. So, guys, I got to go. I got to go. I don't believe Shatima was the person on that uh, audio. I don't believe it. And uh, I don't know. And also, it is you people that know who is on it. So, I love you guys. I still love you. No matter what, I still love you. I still love you. I'm an APC man. Don't forget. I am neutral as of this moment. So you people have a bad mother what you can join. Uh, let me read some comment here. You see, uh, you don't learn. We don't need. <laughs> so you don't need me. You are yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. No problem. I can I give a. <laughs> I see why you bother me to the book. Uh, that somebody like this shall team and I good for now. That is good for now. Uh, this one don't write something. Let me can see her. Let's read within the right. He says, sir, do you know do you know that all these will be supporters are terror? Not terror debut. Not be all of them, not some of them. Not be all. They will just come. I want to force you to do the what you don't want to do. See ya. And this online obi supporters are creating problems for Labour Party. They are chasing people away. Make a carry on a labor. Yeah. You see, huh? yeah. All right, I gotta go. God bless you. Bye, y'all. I love you. Tomorrow video when I go do it. But I tell you now, if I want, if I did look for, if I look for more viewer, I will come here. I will do labor saga. If I just do political saga everywhere, go red. Now they see video, red head go they call baka baka. That be saga. Political saga. Well, I was one, but I'm not into that. The time I will use to do political saga, I will use it to go and walk. Uh, <laughs> he said, Lord, love us. Saturday, I love you. <laughs> Ule, see, Ula, Ula, stop. <laughs> I love you. La Lobigo, you know me. I'm still your father. So I take care of you. I've done my best for you. You people cannot lead me to this. Uh, a fairly, fairly situation. I don't see how how this is going to be possible. Eh? Uh, authenticity is not there. Obedient is not there. Finance is not there. Structure is not there. You people say you are the structure. Where are the structure here? You know the. So this is the. I told the people I will give you like three chance. You people have only one more chance. That one more chance now tomorrow. If I come on air immediately, you will not obey. When I say stop, you stop. Don't insult my uh, the color. And it be like I say now when I carry Bishop Con now now I declare. So guys, I gotta go. Let me go to work. Bye, yo. I gotta go.